So you want to create your very own lo-fi live stream Well, you have clicked on the right video. I spent a lot of time myself watching video after video after video trying to figure out this process. It felt like there wasn't one video that covered all of the information all in one place. So I decided to make one myself. In this video, I'm going to show you the exact process that I followed to create my very own lo-fi live streaming channel. All right, now the very first thing you want to do is actually make sure that your YouTube channel is ready to go live. If your channel is brand new or you've never live streamed from your channel before, what I want you to do is head over to YouTube Studio and actually click on the go live option. Don't worry, this is not going to make you automatically go live and show the stream on your channel right away. You don't have to worry about that. But what it does is tell YouTube that you're interested in live streaming. The reason I want you to do this is what I experienced with my own channel and from what I've read online and seen in other videos, there is sometimes a 24 hour waiting period before you can actually live stream. So I didn't want you to get to the very end of the video and have everything ready to go and then you get hit with this 24 hour wait. Okay, step two is to actually create your lo-fi playlist along with the visuals that you want in your video. Now, when people think lo-fi, I think they do typically think of an animation on loop in your video, but I've also seen videos and channels that don't do that, so that's okay. It really depends how complex you want to get and how much time, effort, or even money you want to invest into creating an animation. If you don't have the skill set and you don't know how to make an animation like they do for Lo-Fi Girl or these other channels, I would also recommend checking out Fiverr. I've actually used Fiverr myself for my own Lo-Fi channel along with other just work in general and I found some really talented people on there. And for the music, I am personally using Epidemic Sound for my channel. That was something that I'd seen used by other creators and I think they even have a 30 day free trial which is something that I signed up for and it's been great so far. I found a ton of really good tracks, a ton of really great artists. There's a lot of talent on there too. So feel free to check that out. I'll leave links in the description down below for the different sites and the things that I'm using to create my own lo-fi content. So if you guys want to check that out, feel free. Okay guys, I'm going to show you a real example of one of the lo-fi streams that I've done on my own channel. I'm going to work my way from the bottom to the top here with everything in this video. So on the audio track, all of these songs are songs that I have downloaded from Epidemic Sound, the website that I talked about earlier in this video. And I've basically just dragged and dropped them into the video and sort of curated it in a way that I felt like the music flowed really well together. I interrupt this program for an important news announcement. Next, we have the first video track. So with this, I went out and found this picture of this cat uh, laying on the bed. There's a lamp. I just really liked the vibe of this picture. The sun's kind of setting or rising, can't really tell, but it just felt cozy. So what I did was took this picture and dropped it into the first video track. And then I just extended it all the way through the entirety of the playlist. Now, the second video track is where things get um, a little tricky and this is where it might take a bit of editing to get this just right for the look that you're going for. So I'm going to play a quick section of this video really quick so you can get an idea of what I'm about to talk about. All right, so if you were watching it, you can basically see there's almost like these small little stars that are floating towards you on top of the picture of the cat. And what I did to create this was on the second video track here, you can see there's a bunch of little clips that have basically just been copied and pasted over and over and over again. And in this clip is actually a video of the galaxy and stars. I've just messed with the blend mode and changed the opacity. So the opacity for this was about 15% and I changed the blend mode to screen, but there's a bunch in here you can do overlay. Um, I think they also have, yeah, lighten. I've had some good luck with screen, lighten, overlay, um, even some of the soft light. It, it just depends what is gonna work best for you in your video. But what this originally looked like, if I change the opacity here to 100 and let me change this back to normal, 
this was the actual video that I downloaded and grabbed to use as an overlay. So if I hit play, you'll see the original. Now I'm just gonna change this back here to what I had it at. All right, and yeah, so that's what's giving it this effect. Now, if you're looking for a great website to find a video like this Galaxy one, um, or you want maybe like shooting stars or something like that, I'm gonna show you one more website really quick that I think would be beneficial. This website is called Pixabay. If you've never used it before, it's basically a website that has a bunch of different pictures and videos that we can download. And this is where I grabbed that Galaxy video that I used in my own lo-fi video for the stream. So once you're on this website, all you need to do is search for the different type of video that you're looking for. You could do something like the Galaxy or the stars like I did, or maybe clouds moving. That might look really cool as an overlay, just as a couple ideas. And once you find one that you like, all you have to do is click download over on the right side. And in some cases, it might even ask you to choose the size you want. I just chose 1920 by 1080 since that's kind of the video standard, but I think they have some that are lower and even higher. All right, you guys, now that you know where I got all the different visuals and the different pieces from, all you have to do is just piece this together in your video editing software. The last tidbit that I highly, highly recommend, I mean, it should just be a requirement, is to make sure that you at least add the text on top of the video so that you're giving these artists the credit where credit is due. So as you can see, I added captions to every single song that shows who the artist is and what the song is called. Now, all that's left to do is export your video. Now that your beautiful video masterpiece is complete, the last thing to do is to install OBS and get the stream actually going. If you already have OBS installed, feel free to skip this part of the video. But if you don't, what you wanna do is head over to OBS's website and this is the software that's actually going to allow us to connect to YouTube and go live. It's a super quick and easy install. You just need to choose which operating system you're on, whether that's Mac, PC, or even Linux, I think is an option. And once it's installed, we're gonna go ahead and open it up and it'll look something like this. All right, you guys, so don't panic. I know my screen looks a little crazy, um, but what we need to do to get this stream going is to go into the plus option under sources and you want to click on media source. This is gonna allow us to choose the video that we just exported. Once this box pops up, just go ahead and click okay, or you can name it if you'd like. And this is where we can browse for the video on the computer. So I went ahead and selected the video that I gave you guys as an example, so you could see what it would look like in here too. And the other option that is really, really important that you don't miss is to click this loop button right here. This means that once the video ends, it's just gonna start over. I wouldn't mess with any of the settings down here. The rest of them have been fine in my experience. So go ahead and hit okay, and your video should come up on the screen right away. And mine started playing right away. Yours is probably gonna play right away too. Okay, and this next step is really important too. I got stuck on this part myself and had to look up more videos to try to figure out how to fix this audio piece. So make sure you do this part. Now for your stream to actually get the audio from the playlist that you created in this masterpiece of a video is to go and check the media source line here and under audio monitoring, you need to make sure that this is monitor and output. Once you click that, you should be able to get the audio to your stream and the audio playing in OBS. Okay, we are now entering the final step of this video, which is to navigate over to YouTube Studio, go live, and make sure that the stream is running well. If you've made it this far into the video and you're finding it valuable, please drop a like. This will only help it reach a wider audience and more people that are looking to learn how to do this as well. In YouTube Studio, go over to the go live option, go ahead and click that, and it's gonna take you to your stream manager. Now within here, what we need to grab is called your stream key. And it's located right here towards the middle left part of the screen. Go ahead and copy that. And then we are going to head back over to OBS and get it connected essentially. So go over to the stream option in your settings and OBS. On the source page, you need to change it to YouTube because that's the platform we're streaming on. And then you're going to click on the use stream key option. Now, 
Once you're in here, you're going to just paste the stream key that we just copied. And then all we have to do is go click on apply and okay. And I do want to re-emphasize, do not share your stream key with anyone. It's unique to you and it's important that you keep that hidden. All right, and after a quick test, everything looks good. We have audio, we have video, we're streaming. My very last piece of advice for you is once you get into this part of the studio, the stream manager, feel free to play around with these settings until you feel like you have everything just right for you. Um, you have your stream title right here at the top. You can choose the category, the privacy. So whether you want it to be a public stream or if you're not ready yet, maybe you leave it to private while you're messing with the tags and the description and the thumbnail, things like that. And to get to all of that, just go over to this edit button and this is where you can edit all the details. So for me, you can see all of these details are from my very last stream that I did last week. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. Like I mentioned before, if you found this video valuable, if you enjoyed it, if you learned something, please consider leaving a like. It would help me out so much. I really spent a lot of time trying to put this video together and I know it's a bit long, but I just wanted there to be one video that housed all of this information in one place. If you have any questions or you feel like I may have missed something or didn't cover a topic, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to get to it to answer it. If not, maybe someone else watching the video has an answer for you too. And as a quick reminder, I'll leave all the links in the description down below for the different websites I was talking about so you can find those resources there. With that, thank you guys so much again for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.